Good morning, Kennesaw Mountain. I'm Will Smith. And I'm Tom Cruise. Today's Friday, February 11th. And uh, you're watching Around the Mountain. So Sean, yes. What can you do in a minute? Um, brush my teeth, wash my hair, brush my dog, order Chinese food, eat Chinese food, run around the world, and save the world, and eat a sandwich. I mean, that's really impressive. I'm not gonna lie. Thank you, Omar. But um, I can do that in about 30 seconds. Mm, of course you can. Let's see what these people can do in a minute. junk in the trunk. This challenge begins with eight ping pong balls loaded inside an empty tissue box attached to the waist directly above the <clears throat> gluteus maximus. By jumping, shaking, bending, wriggling and even contorting the contestant must get all eight balls to exit the box. No hands allowed. Failure to complete this task in 60 seconds may result in elimination. Red shell. Star. First place. Mario Kart Racers of the Week. I don't know my middle name, that's personal. Okay. Why is it personal? I don't like it. 
<laughs> just personal. Okay, we're going to play a game, Coach Turner. It's All right. called First Impression Science Department. So, Miss Wright. Fantastic. Coach McCaughey. Fantastic. And this evening? Fantastic. <laughs> Coach Schaefer. Super fantastic. Why is he super? Because he's a good guy. Why Fabulous guy. Good? Wonderful guy. One of my, he, he's my hero, put it that way. John Schaefer's my hero. Okay. Oh, I know what I changed some. I changed my appearance on the Wii. On the Wii. My wife bought a Wii Fit for Wii Fit board. And she had me get on that thing, and then it, it changed how I looked on the Wii Fit. I didn't like how I looked. What'd you look like? Looked like a, a short, fat, bat, bald black man. <laughs> <laughs> I looked like I was big and back, bald headed. I didn't like how I looked. And they tell me I need to get in shape until I'm in, I am in shape. <laughs> I did tell my wife and my daughter. Around is a shape. I'm in shape. So, shape. Thank you. It's That's what. Shape. Thank you. Butterfly, what? <laughs> I don't even know what you say yet. What you talking Butterfly. Butterfly goes up in the air. It does what? And fly. Away? Yeah, I Do guess. You can you. sing that song? Not at all. Miley Cyrus. Not a fan. <laughs> I'm not. I don't even know who Miley Cyrus is. But. I don't dance, girl. Be a Dougie. I don't know what a Dougie is, girl. I don't know. I don't keep up with y'all youngins and dances as y'all do. I don't know what a Dougie is. I don't dance, girl. Unless I gotta have music. I gotta have music and enough Kool-Aid. If you have music and Kool-Aid, I dance, girl. <laughs> I have music and Kool-Aid. You don't have no music and you don't have no Kool-Aid, so I can't dance. <laughs> have to have music and Kool-Aid. You don't have that fuck me right now. So Sean, I'm really digging your tie. Well thank you Omar, it has basketballs on it, you know, basketball is my favorite sport. I love it how you dribble up and down the court. Sean, it's Sean, who sings that song? I think Lil Bow Wow does. Let's keep it that way. All right. Okay. Roll sports. Yeah. yeah. You know technically, I'm not even really supposed to be here right now. Yeah. You know, technically, so we'll make the most of it. As the wrestling season comes to a close, the Mustangs are working harder than ever towards their final goals and accomplishments. They recently celebrated Senior Night, where they recognized six seniors for their hard work and dedication to the team. This past weekend was the area tournament where we placed fourth as a team and will be sending eight wrestlers on to the next level of competition towards state. These wrestlers will be competing in the sectionals tournament held at home this weekend. Come out and support your Mustangs as they fight for a spot at state. Congratulations and good luck to all of the wrestlers. This past week, our Mustangs took on the Harrison Hoyas twice. On Saturday, we traveled to Harrison where we played our hearts out and couldn't pull out a win. On Tuesday, we played them at home for senior night, where we recognized our seniors for their hard work and dedication. We were unable to pull out a win again, but the Mustangs finished up a great season with a well-played game. Congratulations, Mustangs. Omar, um, the man in this next package is, he's not just gorgeous, he's beyond gorgeous. Well, Sean, I'm, I'm sitting right here. Omar, believe it or not, there is a man um, more gorgeous than you are. No, no. Yes, yes there is. And this is Living Proof with the February Agenda, starring Sean Gaither and, and Aaron, Aaron Kester. Well, hello there. 
I'm Sean Gaither. And I'm Aaron Kester. And we're here to bring you the, the February Agenda. Hello. We are now in the Fine Arts Building, here to feature Cabaret and Coffee. Why don't you tell me about Cabaret and Coffee, Sean? Cabaret and Coffee is a wonderful place where people show their t talents and drink coffee. Their t talents is right. And I am pumped. I will be there. And it's actually tonight. So why don't y'all come down and see? Yes. Soccer is a fine sport at this school. Fine sport indeed, Aaron. KMHS is proud of their team and actually they're having the first varsity game this Tuesday against Kell. <sighs> okay, we're here where we're freezing our tails off just to come to let you know that winter break is February 21st and it lasts the whole week. Aaron, do you have anything to add? All right, let's go. Sean and I are here in cutouts of Woody and Jesse. Why don't you tell them why, Sean? Well, you see, Woody and Jesse are a part of the Western culture here in America, but the theme for this year's special ed dance is also Western, which is why this is more important. Exactly. That's this upcoming Monday. It's also the same day as Valentine's Day. Sean here happens to be my Valentine, seeing as he's Jesse. I'm Woody, get it? Yeah. Well, you better give me something nice. Yeah. Um, yeah, no. Um, so, so you should come out and go to special ed dance, have a valentine, have a good time, it's Monday. Well that's about all that we have uh, for the February agenda, John. Oh, yeah, I would say so. It's been, it's been a lot of fun, I'm going to be honest. Well, there's a lot of cool upcoming events that everyone needs to attend. And we will be there, I hope you will too. So long, Kennison Mountain. Star Command. Star Command, do you come in? Loud and clear, over. My uh, modulator seems to be breaking down. Hey, have you seen my other sock? Uh, whoa, uh, yeah, it's it's my mask, but do you, you need it back? What are you supposed to be anyways? Are you, are you Superman? Black, Black Stallion. Alright, well you can keep that one. I'm, I'm so sorry. So, Sean. Yes. What do you find most attractive in a woman? I love it when women are holding a rugby ball and they're charging at me like a, like a hungry, fierce dragon. It, it's amazing. It's, they just look incredible. Wait, what? Roll the package. I need some space, so someone please make me some room in this Cause I'm in beast mode, beast mode. Give me those beats, I eat those. One of the club sports at our school that you may not be familiar with is girls rugby. Hi, I'm Danielle Ebanks, captain of the girls rugby team. We're currently looking for new girls. All you need is cleats and a mouth guard. If you don't have cleats and a mouth guard, that's fine. Just come out to the first practice and try it. And if you love it, we'd be happy to have you on our team. Hey, I'm Bailey. I've played rugby for four years and it's a ton of fun. We're all really close friends and we just have a lot of fun out here. This is where we practice behind Living Hope Church on Salisbury. Uh, we practice on Tuesdays and Thursdays and we really need more girls. It's a ton of fun to play, but you can't play it with only a few girls, so we really need more. We also practice on Saturdays, uh, but we're pretty flexible with schedules. If you have work or anything, that's fine. Just let us know. Their first game is this Sunday, but they are still short on players. It's not too late to sign up. We've had a really good season in the past. Last year we went to state championships. We lost that game, but we're ready to come back full steam this season. If you're interested in playing rugby or know someone who is, please contact Bailey Ernstis, Ashley Wall, or Danielle Ebanks. So Sean, we've got a we've got a great student here at Kennesaw Mountain to be Mustang of the Week. Yeah, um, he, I mean he's been through a lot these past few months, and we are proud to announce Ben Sparks as our Mustang of the Week. Hey guys, I'm Ben Sparks. I'm Mustang of the Week.
anyone didn't know, I'm the guy that had the accident. I got hit in the head with a baseball, and it's been about four months since then. And tryouts were this past week, and they're still going on. I'd love to talk about Ben, uh, Ben Sparks, just a little bit. Ben's a fantastic kid. Uh, we call him Sparky out there because that's what he is for us. He's a spark plug. And, uh, you know, he's an inspiration. Uh, he works as hard as he possibly can. Um, he, uh, in tryouts, uh, you know, he's the first one to, uh, to get there, last one to leave. I've been playing for about my whole life. I've been playing since I was four at T-ball. Um, I play second base, and I just love the game, and I'm ready to get back to it. Hi, I'm Coach Blair, uh, head JV baseball coach here at Kennesaw Mountain. I was pretty pumped up to hear that Ben Sparks was nominated for Mustang of the Week. Ben is a great kid, been through a lot. Uh, he's back out there at baseball with us. I just want to thank my sister Megan and my whole family. They've helped me through my accident and helped me get back to school. I'm really thankful for that. Ben is the best little brother ever, and I'm really proud of him for being Mustang of the Week this week. I'm so glad that he's going back out there on the baseball field to try out, and I really hope that he makes it. I want to thank all you guys for praying for me and getting me through my accident, and I'm just ready to get back to it. Ben's very deserving of being Mustang of the Week. He's a great kid. He went from fighting for his life a few months ago to Next thing you know, he's out conditioning with us, and he's giving it his all for the baseball team. Um, it's great for us to see someone like that who can just, you know, go out there and sh sort of show us older guys really a lesson, even though he's just a freshman. So it's really great to have that. It feels great for being Mustang of the Week. Thanks a lot. All right, thank you for sticking with this Chocolate Vanilla Swirl. Um, be sure to catch us again on Comcast 24 and 97 in Smyrna. We're also looping all day on the school website and on school too. And uh, Kinsley Mountain, I hope you have a wonderful day. And uh, snap it.